Okay, our final guest is a celebrity legend who exudes charm from every pore. So without further ado, with his skinny jeans, shaggy hair, and dazzling grin, guaranteed to put a smile on all our faces, please welcome Russell Brand. <laughs> You're going to be late. Well, in the corridor. Yeah. Yeah. No. You were, like, you were like three seconds coming out. We had a you were three seconds. That's day. considered late in this day and age. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I wouldn't like to be behind you at a traffic light. Yeah. <laughs> we thought you were giving Justin Bieber a run for his money by being late. I see. <laughs> How are you? How are I'm you? in such a good mood. I really I like it when I'm here with you. Like it makes me feel really relaxed. Yeah. Oh. Plus, my yeah. mum watches this. Oh. Uh, mum. Hello, Hello little mum. mum. Where is Hello. Mum here? She's at home. She's at home. I'm watching us. You work in television. You should know how this works. She has been here before. Has she? Yeah, you've been on this show three times now. Four yeah, times. I like it here. Yeah. yeah. Sort of really sort of kind. I'm very happy in this kind of environment around loving women. This one. I know, I'm love, I know. Yeah. <laughs> Don't cheapen that. <laughs> We've had a busy morning because you've literally come straight off from seeing Philip and Holly. Oh, they're ever so nice as well, aren't yeah, they? Yeah. What's that relationship meant to be like? Like he's an uncle, she's a niece. Like you know, like so there's typically there's a template that is being mimicked that's somewhere from our culture. Like say on American news, there's always some sort of stern guy and a younger, attractive woman. True. He's meant to make you feel he has authority, and the woman makes you feel attraction. So with Phil and Holly, I think it's like a naughty niece and a saucy uncle. <laughs> really? That's how I think of it. That's the template, the archetype from which oh. they are derived. They now, what you've, you've been running around, um, obviously promoting Give It Up for Comic Relief. Oh yes, I have been. Yeah. Exactly. I'm doing a show tomorrow night at Wembley Arena for which the, some tickets have just been released. Performing at the show are like Kasabian, Noel Gallagher, Eddie Izzard, Frankie Boyle, Jimmy Carr, Emily Sanday, wow. Nicole Scherzing. Wow! That's a nice noise. Wow. How did that even happen? That's <laughs> extraordinary. <laughs> and it's to raise money to get people to stop drinking and taking drugs. Not people like your audience who obviously need drugs just to get up on <laughs> People that have a problem with drugs and alcohol, like I used to. People who need to give up. Yeah, because, like, yeah. you know when you're out in a shopping centre of an evening, there's drunks everywhere, it's annoying. Or when you see a drug addict huddled in a doorway, annoying. Or when you're at a party and someone comes up to you and they've been taking cocaine, annoying. Mm. Now, some people can take drugs safely and drink safely. That's none of my business. Other people have a problem with it. Mm. We're going to help those people. It'll be good for the individuals themselves, for their families, and it'll be good for society as a whole. No one here is unaffected by this problem. Problem. It's everywhere. It's everywhere in our culture because people are sad inside. How, how do you do that then? Because I mean, you've, you've touched on the fact that it's, it's an addiction that is irritating. And you Ooh. know, if, if there are other people in life who have problems, that maybe you'd feel a little bit more welcoming towards them. But you've, you've touched on all of those facts. You know, knowing people at parties and, and, and what have you. How can you turn that around and make people want to help them? The integral, the integral attitudinal shift is to regard it as a health issue. These are people that have got something wrong with them. When I was drinking and taking a lot of drugs, because I was sad inside and when I was given a solution to that problem don't use and take drugs one day at a time I became a different person now some people would probably argue that I'm still a little bit of a nuisance but compared to what I was like I was a, a window smashing getting arrested brawling not very good quality I've brawls. read the book yeah, yeah. I was, I was, yeah well, I was a real so you pest. might get help but it just doesn't stop you being irritating I don't know about that, my darling. I think people can be irritating with or without drugs. You are a wonderful demonstration of that. <laughs> but, but, like, but if you help people with problems, then society as a whole cannot help but benefit. It's a brilliant cause, but how did you manage to get so many massive names all to say yes to do this tomorrow night? Noel Gallagher, God love him, he, I, I, I phoned him while I was in the meeting with Comic Relief. Comic Relief said, that after Amy Winehouse died, I felt very, very sad because I loved her and I knew that she could have been helped if she'd had access to the right information. Comic Relief r read something that I wrote. In fact, I've just written another article on drugs. If you follow me on Twitter, at Rusty Rockets, look at the thing I've just written. It's really good. I'm proud of it. Comic Relief contacted me and said, would you be interested in doing something in Britain to help British people with drug and alcohol problems? I said, I would love to. I called up Noel, goes, will you? I went, yeah, of course I will. He swore a bit more than that. <laughs> 
he wanted to help. Well, so that, even though he then. says that taking drugs is like having a cup of tea or whatever he claims, yeah. he was a, the first person on board to help. And then because Comic Relief is such a respected and wonderful charity, other people were very willing to help also. Mm. So who are you looking forward to seeing tomorrow night? I like that lad, uh, Jack Whitehall. Yeah. Oh, He's a yeah, nice boy, isn't he? Great. Jimmy Carr's always pleasant. Uh, I'm very... In Jessie J, I'm interested to meet her because I've... Uh, I'll bet you are. I want to see her. <laughs> Let's see what the parameters of this lesbianism are. <laughs> How lesbian is she? Now, are you only good at being on your own? I imagine you like to be surrounded by people all the time. Or is there anything that you do on your own? Keep yeah. it clean? I meditate all of the time. I meditate. Meditation and yoga, these are fundamental parts of my life. I think it's difficult these days with religion getting such a rough ride, the Pope resigning, bloody terrorism and nonsense. It's difficult to find an access to spirituality, but we are by our nature spiritual people. If we don't have access to spirituality, we suffer as individuals, society suffers. And that's kind of what we're doing with Comic Relief. The reason I took drugs is because there wasn't a structured thing in my life, a way for me to love myself, a way for me to love other people. Love. This give it up See, charity love. is important. Love, love, love. That's, that's what I've been trying to say to Carol. Have you? It hey. makes the world go round. Do you not yeah, agree? Shut up! It's <laughs> Carol. I've, I've got love in my life. I love people and people love me. She's, she's no, not I listening think, to me properly. No, I'm not. I think love. Have you got love in your life? Have you got... It, no, love is something that you give out as well, Russell, though, isn't it? Do you You've love yourself now? Love is a two-way street. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't it? It's it not cul-de-sac. No. It's certainly not roundabout. No. It shouldn't be Spaghetti Junction with loads of tangled limbs everywhere. No, no, no. That's too many people. No. Yeah. Life is best enjoyed by two or more human beings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I have plenty of love in my life. Hey, this Give It Up thing, it's also going to be on the telly on BBC Three oh, yeah, tomorrow right. night, and then it'll be on BBC One on the Friday night, and it'll be live on Radio 2 while it's happening. I mm. urge people to watch it. It'll be thoroughly entertaining. It's a really good cause. Even though it they're is. unsympathetic, these drug addicts and mm. alcoholics, mm. If, you, uh, if you help them, I'm, I swear to you, they're really nice. I've known people that are right destitute Russell, I'm going to have to stop you, Russell. Go off air. <laughs> but yeah. it's been oh, lovely yeah, to see you. The telly's finished now. Watch it. It's Russell Brand, everyone. Thank you.